today is going to be a video on mathematically similar typed questions and you've already seen the question and I've drawn uh, the two cylinders out here so this is P and this is Q right they've they've given us the fact that this is four centimeters and if you read the question they said the surface area of cylinder P so surface area of P was 90 pi centimeters cubed obviously and they also gave us the surface area of Q so surface area of Q which was 810 pi centimeters squared and they've told us the length equals 4 centimeters of P so that's that Okay, um, never mind that. So, um, the question says work out the length of cylinder Q. Now, there's a simple way of working this out. So, we know this is 4 centimeters, but we don't know how we're going to get that. But we know from the question that they are both mathematically similar. So, if we, if we draw out a little grid here uh, of P here and Q, just draw this and this and here we can write the length the area and the volume so now we have this it's always useful for these questions to do this type of grid so they've given us the length of P which is four centimeters so we, we just want to fill this in for you know just to help us answer the question um, the area of P is 90 90 pi centimeters cubed obviously and the surface area of Q is 810 pi and so that's all the information they've given us and we want to find out the length of Q which is this here so we need to because they're both mathematically similar we can we acknowledge we we can take this 90 pi and 810 pi and work out the multiplier in between and so simple maths 810 divided by 90 would give us a multiplier of 9 so that this this number here I've just got a 9 is the fact that the surface area of P is 90 and to get to the surface area of Q which they've given us here uh, it, you have to times it by 9 and you write this in the middle section of your grid and so basically this this is going to help us answer the rest of the question now we know area is uh, length times length so length squared so if we want to go backwards to length we have to square root 9 which gives us 3 so see so obviously here and then squared for an area would make it 9 so that's how we get the 3 here we square root of this 9 and that's the multiplier for the length so if we multiply 4 by 3 over here we get 12 so that gives the length of cylinder Q 12 um, so if you didn't understand that I'll just go over that again we, they've given us uh, 90 pi here for P and 810 pi for Q and because both shapes are mathematically similar we can work out the multiplier to get to the Q surface area and then that's for the area so for the length we square root it because length is uh, to the power of 2 to get the 9 and therefore we just square root 9 here which is 3 and that got us the multiplier there and we simply times 4 by 3 to get 12 which is the length of Q okay equals 12 and um now um i'm just going to move on to the second part of the question just here um right the second part of the question tells us the volume of cylinder p is 100 let me just quickly draw the table out again so p q times here 
length, area, volume. We always want this. What was this? This was four. Our multiply was three, and we got twelve. We had ninety here and nine, eight hundred and ten. And for the second part of the question, they've given us the volume of cylinder P. So this is cylinder P here. Okay, volume of cylinder P they've given us is a hundred pi centimeters cubed. So we got a hundred, and we need to find out the multiplier to work out the volume of cylinder cube, which is the question. Um, so the volume is the length cubed. So three cubed would equal two twenty-seven. See, uh, to get from the length to the area you square root it so x squared and to get from the length uh, let me just do this with another color the length to the volume you simply do x cubed and that's to get this bit here the multiplier so we get 27 and then simply like we've done uh, before we just do 100 times by 27 which is 27 add the two zeros pi centimeters cubed and therefore the answer to the volume of cylinder Q so volume of Q equals 2700 pi centimeters cubed and we've answered both questions with this simple grid here with the information they provided which was 19810 we worked out the multiplier for that and because the length is the square root of that we got back to 3 and the volume is the cube root of the length sorry not the cube root uh, it's to the power of 3 of the length so 3 to the power of 3 equals 27 uh, and that's pretty much how we got it uh, I'm definitely gonna make another video upon this subject on this topic because this might have been slightly confusing but if you did get the question right well done and Thank you guys for watching. As we enter, come the quick to get one of the guest adventure. Must be the venture that you ever thought you could touch our credentials. What's the initial? You be jam rock the lyrical official. Send out the order, laws and the rituals. Burn candles, say prayers, paint mirrors. It is truth, we big news, we hood heroes. For us to anchor, we come to bunker. On a bad man, we not play really wonka. And I got the guns, I got the ganja. And we can blaze it up on your block if you wanna. Or haze it up, stash box in a